you, probably. The theme is slightly different. And I'll be discussing about that uh, this quantum clocks can be a sensor for space-time. And we have started uh, this research something around 20 few years ago. And at the time, same as you, and we were thinking about um, making quantum computer at that time. And the long uh, co coherence time, in order to make the qubit, the atom, and with the, the optic wave, and that is going to be put it into the containers. And in that case, uh, 150 the second of the uh, coherence, and that kind of qubit can be generated. And now, how it can be used in the future. That's what we thought. And the quantum bit is good, however. And that has a, a the long coherence time. In the case, the uh, atomic uh, the clock would be a much interesting. So at the end, and I will talk about it, but the uh, atomic uh, the clock could be much closely related to our life. So the higher... Uh, the uh, the social impact and therefore in 2001 I had proposed the uh, optical uh, the like this, uh, the clock in 2015 and this is this with the 16 uh, the digit and uh, a one second delay and that will take like um, the 30 billion years and this is uh, the great and um, how we can use it and that is a question and at that time and those kind of the huge uh, the machines, and that was used in the uh, research center, and uh, that costs a lot, and therefore we will not be able to uh, commercialize, and therefore we uh, try to make it smaller, and this is the result, and we made much uh, the uh, the miniature sites, and uh, you have to have a two clock, otherwise uh, we cannot start the uh, research of the clocks, and we made that much smaller clocks like this, and then how will we be able to see that relative uh, the effect? Related basic effect, and uh, we, uh, the researchers, we want to make a game change, and we did that, uh, and I will talk about it later. And uh, this kind of the quantum clock, and um, that related uh, the space time, and that will change to the new uh, business platform, and which I also would like to talk about at the end. And uh, uh, according to the Einstein's theory, of uh, relatedly, and uh, the upper clock uh, ticks faster. And and uh, so that's why uh, seeing is uh, the believing, because um, the upper clock uh, takes faster. And now, take a look at it, and the, uh, there's a two uh, clocks, and one uh, is lifted up and one meter higher. And there's a two clocks, and now uh, we compare those two uh, in terms of the, uh, the vibrations and how we'll be able to see it. And uh, we compared that uh, frequencies. And now, and for six hours, we had this, and the, uh, the x-axis, the bit, uh, the note of the clocks, and the uh, averaging time is the, uh, the y-axis. And the uh, the blue one is uh, one uh, meter higher in terms of locations. And with the raw data, it looks like a zero. And we actually get the uh, average time and how we'll be able to get it at the very end. That was our research. And for the uh, 30 minutes, uh, when we take the average in that case, um, this is a result. And um, with the same locations, and uh, that's the e three and zero. And then one meter high in that case, the e 47 meter hills faster. And that's what we see. And uh, I will take a look at the uh, pendulum text. And then and we e it actually e comes the time, and therefore it goes faster. And uh, uh, with the personal scales, we'll be able to actually realize this at the laboratory. And the uh, the 18 uh, digit of the uh, strontium uh, pendulum is going to be made. And one uh, centimeter uh, changes in the case. And at the uh, 18 digit, the uh, there is a changes. And therefore, one centimeter height can be read. And that means a sensor. And now this is the, the reading that a strong team uh, pen drums and uh, 400 uh, the trillion times it operates and using that uh, system. And then uh, the sixth uh, digit can be described by uh, SI. However, when it goes faster, and uh, we don't really have that uh, 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 definitions. And that is a problem. 
and the four, one centimeter and ten centimeter, and we'll be able to read that height differences. And uh, there's no other language, and that is the issue. And therefore, we, we try to redefine that. Um, and that was done. Uh, that is going to be done uh, in uh, 2026 at the ECGPM. And uh, in uh, and then also in the uh, uh, 2030s, uh, we are going to plan to define that. And I think that in 2024, uh, uh, targeting for the 2026, and that is going to be the business chance. And this is contents. And with the laser and electronics is used, and and that is going to be mounted onto the, uh, the rack as it is. And in the middle, and this is a physical or uh, physics package, that's what we call, and strontium, uh, um, the, the temperature stabilized uh, breadboard and uh, uh, it can be equaled down uh, close to uh, absolute uh, zero degrees. And then better compare with the optics and that is going to be used and um, and this the EA 18 digit levels and this uh, uh, from the walls are 3,800 uh, kelvins um, the uh, and with that, um, the frequency will be changed. And therefore, we e use that the sealed. And then we will be able to actually uh, use this 18-digit um, uh, at um, any environment. Now, uh, let me uh, talk about the internet uh, map, the Tokyo or Sky Tree, and quantum clock, uh, the value that we wanted to demonstrate. And that was a research. And uh, three years ago, we have conducted this research. And at that time, and uh, uh, the miniaturized, the, the compact, uh, the clocks that and we were uh, going to bring that to the country. And at the ground floor, one clock's located, and uh, 450 meters. And we e placed the other uh, the clocks and the frequency of the clocks, and uh, we actually checked that uh, progress. And 450 meter and that height, and there's a difference. So, and that goes faster, 20 hertz. And the FS are higher, in that case, 20 hertz, uh, the faster. And then the two clocks that uh, uh, we, we actually check that uh, uh, potential of that uh, gravities, so that we will be able to check that um, the uh, reliability and uh, five, uh, the digit uh, the accuracy uh, that is correct. That's what we have uh, the pumped. And what is very important here is that, and people thought that um, the eighteen uh, the digit uh, the clocks, and we, we thought that it can be uh, operated only in a laboratory, but in any uh, environment it can be um, actually uh, operated. And that was a great uh, demonstration for the first time. And what we have to think, and this the uh, the theory of the relativity, and then actually that was uh, uh, the uh, test uh, of that. That the space and uh, people thought that we need uh, the space fields to test it, and that's what everybody thinks. And European group, when we are doing this kind of research, and European group, what they did is that uh, for the GNNS and Gadi uh, Leo uh, um, um, satellite was launched, and however, it did not go uh, to the right uh, orbit, and uh, 800. Uh, 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 8,500 kilometer height difference that was formed. And therefore, they uh, actually checked and uh, attempt uh, minus five, and they will be able to demonstrate it was, uh, as what we have done. And uh, uh, in the uh, Tokyo sky tree, and there was only the height of the 500 meters, and we'll be able to get the same uh, outcome. So what is the difference? And in terms of the uh, clock and the uh, 10 times uh, the accurate, that uh, our clock has, and that's the differences. So when it comes to the daily life and how we can actually use it, and that we, is going to be the value. Now, that's what we have um, evaluated. And now, uh, we would like to check that how uh, the perfect our uh, the technology is, and we want, are going to have that uh, demonstrations and uh, uh, collaborating with the NTT uh, from Tokyo to Mizusawa, and that is one of the uh, uh, approximately uh, 500 kilometer apart from Tokyo, and that is going to be uh, that is going to be connected through the uh, optical fibers, and the two connect uh, two clock is going to be connect, and frequency differences is going to be checked, and what I would like to demonstrate here is that the Earth is too soft, and the uh, comparing that the two clocks, and that is too difficult, 
and for example, in Mizusawa, location is Mizusawa in that case. And 10 years ago, and there was the, the Tohoku uh, the great earthquake, and uh, three uh, the meters, and there's uh, elevations uh, per uh, year. And that can be actually seen uh, through the earthquake. Uh, and Tokyo, Mizusawa, and uh, daily, uh, five tenths meter, um, there's up down. And uh, uh, because the, uh, the earth is soft. And that's what we wanted to demonstrate. And then also the, uh, the second uh, have to be de de uh, defined. And uh, there's a requirement for that. And for example, an uh, 18 digit in Japan clock. And then also the European clock with the 18 digit. Is it the same? Is it the, uh, precisely the same? And we uh, wanted to uh, check that as well. And however, the earth is so soft. And therefore, uh, the clocks in located in Japan and in Europe, even though if you compare, you don't really get the data or information of the clocks. So we have to bring that. Uh, the clocks actually, and this is what we have done. And uh, so, anywhere we have to be able to uh, bring that to clocks. And therefore, the one we made it for the sky e tree, and uh, together with the I Xing, and that's in the uh, bank of the Toyota, uh, the vehicle. And uh, uh, even though it's uh, on the vehicles, and there's no differences in terms of pre uh, precisions. And uh, after the three hours, and a few millimeter of the uh, the differences that we see uh, in terms of the height, and that is the uh, accuracy that we see. And another one is that in February, and a uh, this clock is uh, put it into that um, the cotton box and uh, from Narita, and it went to uh, NPL in uh, Europe, and uh, National Physical Laboratory, and the uh, um the atomic uh, the clock was um, uh, generated, and therefore I think that this is a symbolic to test it for the uh, the latest clocks and for the NPL, and a week later, uh, the researcher actually opened it, and 18 uh, digit uh, the clock operation was done. So uh, technology wise, it's ready up to that uh, level, and then we wanted to do the more uh, challenges and uh, cesium atomic uh, the clocks at that time, and uh, with the one day. 50 digit uh, the frequency that we will be able to find and uh, the 15th uh, digit what is uh, available is that only the uh, 10 millimeter uh, the differences and uh, we will be able to compare and at that time there was a, uh, a concept of that sensor and then uh, with this uh, clock and uh, uh, it will be able to read that uh, 18 uh, digit but it takes like uh, uh, the 300 uh, de years and it doesn't really work. And in case of this, uh, the optical, the lattice, uh, the clock, and what is the impact of that be? As I have said, and after three hours, an 18 digit or the one centimeter height differences can be read. And in that case, we can say the sensing. And we wanted to do something much bigger thing. And uh, with the 100 uh, the seconds, we want to read the uh, one centimeter uh, differences. And or the three uh, hour, uh, hours, and if we can read the uh, 100 microns differences, what do we do? And in that case, the quantum and uh, also the uh, relativity theory of that core part will be able to research. And that's what we're trying to do. And what is the e important tool is that, and uh, um, uh, this is the one uh, micro uh, Kelvin uh, atomic uh, is going to be put it onto the belt conveyor and try to get it, and we bend it. And uh, uh, the people who does who is in this uh, the quantum uh, the computers, and this is the uh, the qubit less, and the qubit. And uh, so with the new uh, the cubic can be actually a, a designed with this. And so we wanted to make that um, the very fast, the optic uh, lattice, um, the clock. And now we are doing that uh, uh, some research with the EJTS MIRAE project and for the other uh, the private sectors, and uh, we are working, and we want to uh, make it use up for the society and the Tokyo University and the Rigen and Shimazu and after Sigma and, and also NTT, and which is a very strong partners, are uh, involved in this. And uh, this is what we are doing, and this is uh, under uh, development, and this is the if it's a, uh, the package of the second generations, and this is a core of that uh, optic, uh, the radic clock. And uh, uh, we'll be able to call that down to uh, high, much lower temperatures. And there's no uh, the, the pipings. And it can be done with the lasers and the 
strong cream and can be eat the curd down and the blue part. And now with that, uh, uh, we use that optica like this and um, with that and uh, make that uh, the crock. And that's what we are trying to do. And and we are saying that we want to make the uh, the very compact, the smaller, uh, the crock, and that is a big boom. And this is our first generation 2010 in Tokyo. Oh, oh, Skytree we have demonstrated and the package size uh, 920 deliveries uh, package and then also the uh, I have shown you the movie and the uh, and 2050 uh, deliveries in overall and the first data as shown in here and uh, uh, with the three uh, hours and the 19 digit the accuracy uh, can be achieved and uh, uh, we are going to increase or the improve this. Now, the accurate, the atomic clock is available in the case. I think that um, this portable accurate clocks um, changes um, our view of the space time. And the, uh, we actually uh, have the view of that uh, the Newtons. Um, and we think that the clock itself is going to be synchronized. And however, uh, if the uh, the precise uh, the clock is available in the case, um, the clock will actually show um, there the on clocks depending on the locations. If it's a higher uh, the locations in the case, it goes faster. If it's lower, it goes slower. And if the arthrit have that, and in the case, it will delay. And because of the special, uh, the theory of the special relativity, and therefore uh, I will be able to say that this is a sensor uh, to be able to. Uh, and Sabodo Dari actually inspired from the Einsteins, and uh, like a camembert cheese, uh, the melted the clock, and this is very uh, the famous the drawing that he has actually made. And uh, I did understand that, the meaning of this. And that is um, the clock and how uh, we will be able to use it in the society. And for example, the optical lattice, uh, the clock and the Google timeline, if we uh, combine with this and what will happen? And on the uh, car, the transportable, uh, the clock uh, can be put it on and then and we eat drives and go to the mountains and on that show highways and that we see that the clock is delayed but when uh, we go up that the highway and uh, there will be a further delay and then we go to the Yam Yatsugatake and the 60 uh, 70 pico it went faster and also it's the same way um, when we go back to the home and the, uh, the home, and there's another clock, and then also the clock on the vehicle, and there's a the differences. And uh, this is like uh, some uh, kind of the uh, the trouble that we go through um, in the space time. And what is the light bulb uh, of the uh, light bulb? And uh, in terms of the Googles, you take the photos, and then also the GSS and tag is attached to. And what we have is that and this is our own uh, the clock and uh, for our own clock and what we have done. And in the future, it could be the meta tag in the future. And, and with this kind of tag, if you go to somewhere and uh, there was a time delay eh? very much in that case. Probably that would be some kind of a special, uh, very heavy, uh, the mines are buried. And if you go to the, uh, the space, and the people will love this. And therefore, uh, the ti twin uh, paradoxes, and that can be a reality. And when you go to, I mean, if you become the, uh, the space travelers and you sh want to have that. And then also for your um, own use, and you'll be able to use it for the security or identifications or uh, communications. And in terms of the business of the uh, the clock or the, uh, the strategies, and that used to be the, uh, the national strategy in the US, and they uh, made a GPS. And uh, when it is commercialized, and the, uh, the Google map 
was available, and the autonomous vehicle was available, and this the, the optic uh, the like this, and it was proposed 20 years ago, and now and um, it has been realized finally, and if uh, we use it for the network and to make the business platform for the future uh, for the theory of uh, relativity, um, at the e the private levels, and we can probably start with the venture companies. And uh, I don't have time, so this is a, a summary. So no, there is the clock was ready, and also it's uh, ready for the game changers. And uh, uh, we change the future uh, from the time access, and that's what we would like to do it. And untouched area, and quantum and relativity, and and create the, a new business platform, and that will be available. Thank you very much. Thank you.